I've got a bunch of parts on the desk and a case that may or may not seem familiar if you watched yesterday's video. We talked about this, the Omni 2 from Crate 3D. It's their latest Kickstarter offering. In the video, in fact, at the very beginning, I said 1,158 print hours, 17 kilograms of filament, 376 pieces over three and a half days. And I talked about the accolades of having a print farm and how it can help me accomplish nearly the impossible. A lot of the comments that came through and that were said to me talked about how this was a waste of filament. 17 kilograms? What the F, Joel? There's a story behind this and there's a story behind the material as well. What I wanna clear up, one, the amount of material used in the final showcase. And we're not talking about all of these extra pieces. We're gonna talk about what they are and why I even printed them and why in God's green earth I had to use 17 kilograms of material. And number two, the filament from Protopasta. We'll leave it at that. Material weight, in fact, 17 kilograms of material weight was responsible for this and all the drawers and stuff on the inside and all three boxes of prints. How this all started was Crate 3D sent over a document called Joel Print List and listed off parts and quantities. I put together a spreadsheet where I talked about how many could fit on a plate and what their sliced weight was and what their sliced time was and how many plates I would have to print and what the final weight and time would be for all of the pieces. And that's where I came up with, quite honestly, more than 17 kilograms. It was the print list provided by Crate 3D. Where did they get this list or where did they come up with it? I don't know. It was some pie in the sky sort of ideal print for me to do in order to show off all that is Omni 2. Looking back, I didn't need to print that much. Trying to run a Kickstarter, especially days before it releases, is probably pretty stressful. The directions for what I was supposed to make weren't entirely clear, which is why this print list they provided, I wanted to follow it. Plus, it seemed kind of cool. Me trying to accomplish the, po the impossible over three and a half days, staying up until two o'clock in the morning, minding prints, it's kind of exciting. It's kind of interesting if you think about it. I was really proud of what I was able to do after three and a half days, but as we all know, it wasn't needed. So let's remove these prints from the desk and let's take my shipping scale and let's weigh what I actually showed you. Because what I showed you is a typical configuration. It's three drawers with some inserts all inside the case. I do have some other stuff in here. There are these plastic sheets with sticky back that you can put on top of the shelving. And then there are these round magnets that you can use to hold your D&D pieces in place, or I guess for me, my cheese. You can hold my cheese in place. There are also magnets that attach this to this when it sets inside. Unfortunately, it calls for 15 by three magnets and 10 by two magnets were delivered by Amazon. So that's why no magnets made it in and why I was extra careful in the video. I was told these pieces are prototype, which is fine, right? It's a Kickstarter. You, you're doing things up until the very end, if not even later. So for them to be prototype pieces, that's fine, but it was a little bit difficult to take out. Look, now we have all of the printed parts for the drawers and we have all of the printed parts for this wonderful case. So let's find out how much filament I actually used. Any guesses? Any guesses? Three, two, one. The case itself, 4.7 kilograms. 4.7 kilograms. Now, this does have metal hinges, like some little metal dowels in there and a couple screws, but I'm confident in saying 4.7 kilograms is really, really close to what is actually a part of this case. 
This was two perimeters, 10% infill, sliced in Prusa slicer for the Mark IV and the Mark III S Plus farm behind me, 4.7 kilograms. Now for the drawers. Now these are the drawers and this is all of the inserts. This does not include the printed pieces that go around this, but I'm okay with not including those because we're talking grams at this point. Any guesses? Get them out now. Three, two, one, 2.75 kilograms. With the 4.7 kilograms here and the 2.75 kilograms here, you're looking at 7.45 kilograms, seven and a half kilograms. That's what we're looking at for what I printed and showed on camera at the very end. All of the rest of the pieces you saw were not essential to this build. And I say this because there are some comments I saw where people were saying, that's too much filament, I'm canceling my pledge. I just want you to know, at the end of the video, what you saw was less than seven and a half kilograms. And number two, the filament. Yes, it's all protopasta filament, they supplied the filament for the build. However, they didn't sponsor the filament for the build. I spec'd out the rolls of filament to get for the print farm, and then that was sent off and Protopasta supplied it. And then the invoice for that was sent to Crate 3D, who then paid the invoice. All of the filament for this build was paid for by Crate 3D. Well, there you go. This is just something quick. I wanted to make sure and get the word out because there were some people, rightly so, who thought 17 kilograms is what you needed to print everything. And while true, it's what was needed to print everything I showed, everything I showed wasn't necessary to make the build. It's a really cool build. Like, it's really, really cool. And if you're into this sort of thing, there's still time to back the Kickstarter. I've put a link in the description. If you do, let me know. And when you print it, let me know, because I'd like to see it. Well, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all the things. <laughs> and as always, high five.